Alright, so, I'm doing another tutorial after two years. So basically, I'm going to show how to do this since people are doing it with the code way where you right-click, inspect, paste something in. But I found an extension right here. It's very safe. I'm going to remove it real quick. But what you want to do is go to the GitHub that I put in the description. If I remember to put it in the description, which I probably will, and you click code, download zip. It should download a zip file. You go to your files. It should be right here. What you want to do, you want to right-click it, click extract all, or use like one or something, I don't know. But once you extract it, you should have all of this inside of it. And once you have that inside of it, you come over here. You go to where you manage your extensions, like you press the extension button. I'm using Microsoft Edge because it's quicker. You press manage extensions, and then make sure you have developer mode, allow extensions from the other stores open. Or if you're using like Opera GX, I have Opera GX2, which I'm going to do on the manage extensions. They load up. Make sure you have developer mode on, load unpacked. Just load unpacked. Same thing on Chrome, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go to the folder, so like the folder that you extracted. It should bring up this handy dandy extension right here. What you're gonna do, make sure you pin it to the thing so it's easier to access. Go ahead, go to your inventory, click your emotes, grab your emotes that you're gonna use. I'm gonna use this one, because I tried to record this video before, but I was on the wrong processor, so it did not work. So you just click the extension, come over here, paste it in. You should use 1.5 for body shot. Make the FOV all the way up. The X rotation 10 and the Y rotation negative 10. So that way it faces forward or as close as you can get forward. And then when you do the body shot like that, wait for it to reload. Or you can just use RoPro on here. Press redraw. And then it's right there. And it shows up on your profile as well. But if you want a different one for your profile picture, like the little thingy right here, you just do headshot instead of body shot. So for that one, well, actually, I'm just going to redo it because I want a different one as my body shot, a different one as my headshot. So this one, I'm going to use this one that I got from a pack. It's my body shot, so I'm going to redo that. Make this 1.2. I'm gonna try 15 this time, that'd be pretty crazy. Body shot, submit success. Alright, so we're gonna grab this one. See it stop playing right there. It's right there, perfect. Looks like I'm doing some ritual shit. Over here, click the headshot, camera distance. And you should do like 1.5. And just do the same rotations. If you would if you'd like, you can do other rotations. But I like this because it faces forward, and it's, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, see? It refreshed this, but I don't know why it refreshed it. Because it's the headshot. But if I were to go to my profile right here, I press refresh on my profile. It won't look like this for you, unless you have the same extensions like RoPro, RoGold, RoPlugs, Roblox Plus, all that. But yeah, you see in the picture right here, it's the monkey emote. And then down here is the summoning email. And it makes it so much easier than right clicking, inspecting, and pasting the coding because then you can actually check it in real time. But yeah, I'll, I'll leave the link for the GitHub here in the description. And then. I get. No, I can't. I can't leave the email. I can't leave the extensions. So you have to find the extensions on your own, but it's pretty easy to find. This is such a bad tutorial, but so is my other one from two years ago when I sounded like a squeaker. And yeah, this should be a pretty easy tutorial for you guys. And yeah, I'm not, I don't like talking.